Welcome guys back to Tina Sewing Class. Today we're going to be working on our skirt sloper. Some people call it a block pattern, but I'm going to show you simple how you can make a straight, uh, easy fit skirt that's going to fit you. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe, like the video and share so that others can learn as well. Okay guys, so I'm gonna be quiet as I show you the different measurements and how to do it really quickly. Thanks again for your support, guys. So we're gonna work with four basic measurements. So the first one is gonna be our waist measurement. We're gonna do the hip measurement and the length of the skirt that we want to make and this is just a basic pattern that you can add to uh, you can use to make different variation of the skirt so actually it's going to be three basic measurements all right so our waist on this one is going to be let's say a waist of uh, actually, let me just take her measurement here. I'm making a skirt for a client or yourself. So this is the waist measurement. Make sure that your fingers can go through the tape measure. There you go. So this is 26 measurement inches for the waist. The hip is going to be usually 7 inches from the waistline. Down is where you would find the hip area uh, so this is the right where the label is waist and six inches down for her some is going to be seven just depend on the shape of the person so her hip is 34 34 and her length from waist down to however long she wants her skirt to be and this one is 18 so the hip 34 the length is a 34 so a quarter of 18 would be 9 and 26 would be 10 and 3 13 so that would be six and a half so the waist is going to be six and a half hip is going to be nine and the length 18. So when you see on a pattern or when you're making your pattern, you want to specify the fold. So whoever is cutting know that this pattern is going to be laying on fold of the fabric. Our waist is going to be six and a half inches. So that's six and a half. No allowance is added, just basic. And our hip is six inches down. So we measure six inches down, which is four, five, six inches down. All right, so six inches down. This is our hip. This is our waist. And across our hip, we're looking nine inches. And our length is 18 inches. Straight length, no addition, 18 inches.
this is our M line. Okay. Now I use my, so that's it, basic. I use my um, hip curve and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put that curve in from here to here. And I'm gonna use this ruler and I'm gonna go, actually I should have, I'm, I'm gonna add a dart in here. So I'm gonna do three and a half inches. I'm gonna put my dart in here. I see it looks better. All right, so I'm gonna add a dart, front dart, three inches, two and a half, four, five inches. Here, I'm gonna put one inch. I'm gonna put an inch, one inch dart. I'm going to add for the dart. Okay. One, one inch, half an inch. Half an inch. And half an inch. So that's going to be my dart. Gonna put it five inches down. Four inches probably is fine here. So this is where I'm gonna end my dart. So I go from that point. Should use my straight ruler. And this is my dart. And I'm going to go ahead and add this extra inch on my sloper. My line is going to look a little bit different, but it will pull right into the garment. Yeah, once it's done. To my 18. Now, when you're doing the end line of the skirt, bear in mind it all depends on the kind of fit that your client wants. Sometimes they want it to be a little bit tighter on the bottom. You can always work this line it, it can be wider it can be uh, less wide just depend on the look that you want this is just a basic skirt so we're just taking a basic measurement so this is actually the cut that i'm going to get to my skirt this once the dart goes in it's going to give it that shape that i'm looking for all right guys so i'm going to go ahead and cut this out and in the next video, we're gonna cut and sew this on a piece of fabric. All right, so the skirt is very simple and easy to make. Always want to measure twice, guys. You cut once, <laughs> measure twice, cut once. And if you look and something don't look right, just go back and fix before you cut. Always remeasure before you cut. Make sure that you only cut once. And nice, so this is my sloper skirt front. All right, next video, actually, we're gonna be cutting the back. This is the front. Front. 
and this is on the fold of the fabric. I'll show you when I'm cutting. And this is our dart line. And that's the extra that I added on the waist for the dart, and this is the front. And always work with a pencil where you can erase. This is our hip, waist, our length. All right, guys. Clean that up a bit. This is our dart. One here. All right. Wonderful. Okay, guys. So there you have it. A skirt, block skirt, or sloper. And tomorrow, our next video is going to be on the back, which is going to be pretty much the same cut. It's just that we're going to have a seam allowance in the back. All right. Very well. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.